who were affected by the Pallet Fire in Coloma joined the Wisconsin DNR to learn more about what caused this more than 800-acre wildfire. Some folks concerned about Wisconsin's burn laws and from the weather yesterday, why there wasn't an alert put out about not burning anything. Samantha Cavalli joins us now outside the Coloma Community Center where the meeting was held with more on what the public learned tonight. Samantha. Yeah, Bill, just a couple hours ago, there was a meeting here with the Wisconsin DNR and with members of the public alongside with the Coloma Fire Department, wondering what are the next steps regarding this fire and for those who were evacuated and affected in this. Well, as we first alerted you earlier this morning, we reported that the Wisconsin DNR determined that the cause of this was debris burning from debris that was burned several days ago and then reignited due to some of the embers that that came about yesterday afternoon. Now, during tonight's meeting, tonight meeting some people they were concerned about Wisconsin's burn laws and why a burn ban was not in effect yesterday. Now officials with the DNR stated that during non burn ban months which is anything out between after January and May a burn ban can only go into effect if the governor gives that approval like he did earlier this year during the extreme heat wave that we had. Uh, Wendy Mall has lived in Coloma for 17 years with her husband and children. On Monday Wendy received a phone call from a friend who's a firefighter telling her that she would have to evacuate her home because of the wildfire was heading towards her home. She said since she's lived here, she's never had to worry about the wildfires and didn't have a plan of action. And from this experience, she's learned something new. We learned from this meeting that there's things that we can do to protect our property. So I think I'm going to take the initiative. I'm going to get that information. I'm going to put that to use in my house. I'm going to Google what do I pack <laughs> to leave for an evacuation because that was a first. You know, we all kind of seem to understand tornadoes, but the fire thing, that's all brand new. And Maul said that her house has is fine and she was able to go back home yesterday afternoon once the fire was more than 99% contained, which it still is at this moment, according to DNR officials. And also, she also said that she was so overwhelmed by the community support surrounding the firefighters and those who were affected by the wildfires and appreciates all the firefighters are doing in helping those who lost everything and how they are risking their lives in this. Reporting live in Coloma, Samantha Cavalli, Action 2 News.